Hello, welcome to Strong Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got whatever you do, work heartily, as if for the Lord and not for men. Yeah, work smarter, not harder, kind of thing. Um, oh man. So I'm sitting here. I've got my coffee. I've got my Pop Tart. Um, no, I don't need a Pop Tart every day, but today I needed it. Um, there's a lot going on, but a whole lot of nothing, if that makes sense. Okay, you guys have seen this purple one that I'm doing. And I have been working on it. Um, <clears throat> I got the three parts that I created, the, t the two fronts in the back, put together. And now I'm putting on the wave. Um, it's going to be kind of wavy, and then I'm going to have a ruffle in the front. So basically, I just have to make it as long as I want it. And then I still have the ruffle to go around the front. And I want the ruffle to be kind of long so that it flops over. So it's getting there, and I have been working on it. But I also... Uh, and this is, I'm going to have plenty of this purple left for doing this. Um, then I have uh, a new shawl that I started. And it's not to, I gave away one of my last prayer shawls. And I don't have one in the hopper to um, give away. And I like to have one just. To give away so I went and I found this Barnett Yarn Inspirations Baby Soft and to me it looks like a spring garden it's got some peach some pink some greens um, it just looks like a spring garden to me and so it has what did it say 8.5 ounces which is 800 yards 800 some and I just started this right here and basically it is v-stitch v-stitch right here double stitch treble stitch v-stitch tri double treble so um yeah and I just started with the double stitch up here and then I've got the turning of the corner so that it will be triangular triangular right down here in the center so it's coming along quite nicely I'm thinking I might switch it up I'm getting a little bored with it you know how it is when you whenever I make shawls I'll do a few rows and then it's like mm, well I'm getting bored with this so I thought this would be a cute pattern to do but I mean I Yes, it's a cute pattern to do, and it looks very nice together, but I'm getting bored with it, so I might start throwing some other stitches in there and just doing my own thing again. Uh, so I've got that one I'm working on. And then this weekend, I spent a lot of time on my car. I waxed it. I'm going to put another coat on it. Probably the next month or so. <clears throat> um, but like I washed all the windows, detailed it. Um, I also went, oh, I forgot to bring that in. Dang it. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. So Saturday morning, I went to a little craft show. Uh, the little uh, Collinsville down here was having a little fair. Um, it's super small, and then there was a little craft show in the uh, <coughs> front part, and the vendors got set up and sell. And one of my little old ladies, she sews. She is 86 years old. Her granddaughter drags her out. She just doesn't like, you know, Grandpa passed away, and she doesn't like the thought of Grandma 
staying in the house. Grandma still works part-time in a job she's had for 24 years. But anyway, little Miss Alice, she's a doll. And she invited me. She said, you ought to come by. So I did. And when I did, um, now she does like little machine embroidery stuff like I do. But she's been doing it for 100 years. And she is much better at it than me. But when I got there, <clears throat> could not buy from Miss Alice. So what she has done is taken a pot holder, okay, and we've all grabbed a towel to grab something out of the stove. That was the concept. And she she took a pot holder and a towel, and she basically just gathered it and seamed right down the center like so. Once she seamed down the center, then she used the hanger for the pot holder and she put on a cute little button and voila it hangs on your stove you have a pot holder you have a dish towel and i ended up getting two of these one is for a friend for christmas and then this one is for me it has chickens on it and it matches the kitchen so yeah but uh i then talked to her granddaughter and uh she had done some baby burp pads and washcloths and and uh, I told her I said well I thought these when I picked up the package Miss Alice goes you don't have any babies so those and I said are they burped out she said yeah and I said oh I thought they were paperless or reusable paper towels and her granddaughter looked at me and she goes what and I said yeah google it it's a thing and I said, I wouldn't mind having some around my kitchen. And so she Googled it. She says, I could make these. And I said, why don't you make me a manly set? And uh, I'll pay you for them. You know, figure out what you do. I said, I don't know, maybe a dozen of them. I said, six to a dozen. I said, use scraps. I said, just make them manly, you know. And uh, so I'm hoping that they're manly enough for RJ and that Macy will leave let them in the kitchen. So <laughs> that was my hope, you know, uh, well, hunting, fishing, that kind of stuff is what RJ likes. So anyway, I've got a pair, uh, she's got on the way. I told her no hurry. I'll use them for Christmas if she doesn't get them in time for the wedding. So yeah. Um, so most of my issue this week has been I, I've been cleaning and I haven't done I haven't done any sewing um even after I got that room cleaned out now I'm like yay I can get in there and get everything I can get to my bed which is amazing I'm sleeping so much better um anyway I still haven't been doing much sewing but the issue is is that y'all know RJ's getting married November 2nd Macy's bridesmaids and maybe this is a thing that they just don't understand nowadays but when you're asked to be a bridesmaid or a maid of honor there are certain duties that you take on as that one of which would be a bridal shower bachelorette party um, the bridesmaids should be working together to make this Macy's day of all days they're not. They're wearing the dress. They're walking down the aisle. That's it. Um, she had a maid of honor that kept creating drama. So she put her as a bridesmaid and asked a different young lady to be a maid of honor. And, you know... I, I don't know if they just don't understand what an honor it is to be a maid of honor. And none of them, the new bridesmaid or maid of honor, the new maids of honor, the new maid of honor is doing a bachelorette party. Okay. She has organized something. They're going to Tulsa. They're staying overnight. Macy does not know what they're doing. Um, but nobody is doing a bridal shower or a, the bridesmaids have done nothing. They, they haven't planned anything. They haven't done anything. 
you know, it's an honor to be a bridesmaid. And as a bridesmaid, you're supposed to work together to make this her day. And that, that's just not happening here. And it's a sad thing. Now, it might be a generational thing. Just saying. It might be a generational thing. Um, maybe they don't know what, you know, they need to Google it. But anyway, <laughs> so I talked to Macy's mom and her and her friend were trying to figure out how to take care of the brides, the bridal shower. And uh, so we picked a date and I told them that I would help out. It is a Kentucky Derby themed bridal shower. Her mother found the cutest little invitations and it says, and they're off. And it's got a horse and stuff on it, you know, because Macy loves horses. Um, and it says, and they're off to get hitched or to get married. I don't remember what it was, but anyway, it's a cute little bridal shower thing. And so I'm thinking I'm going to do some kind of finger foods and cupcakes. I told him, I said, I'll do something for the food. We'll get it together. I said, it'll be fine. And uh, then I'm going to come up with some games and send to her so that we can. And I was thinking, do they even do Mad Libs anymore? <laughs> you know, because that's what we did. But anyway, one of the other things that we're going to do at the bridal shower. I've got to get the stickers off the back, but I found this at Christmas time and they do have little oh, over here, holly on the corner, but I don't care. Macy's favorite color is red. This is red ceramic with a wooden base. It looks very stylish, but yet simple and country. So it suits their style. And Macy and RJ don't really cook. Um, RJ has learned over the years he can make certain things. I try to make pot roast. But anyway, we're going to take these cards and we are going to have each person at the bridal shower fill out at least one of their favorite recipes and bring it back to us. And each one will say, you know, the name of the recipe, blah, blah. But it'll say from the kitchen of right down here. And so it'll say, Mom grandma, Susan, Billy, you know, all the other people and they will have, and we'll give them plenty of cards. There's plenty of extra, you know, and so I'm going to send these cards with RJ down there and then she's going to put them in the invitations so that we can have them back. And then they will have, we will have Knowing that Macy doesn't cook, I'm going to put stuff like dump cake on them. Um, I'm going to put my lasagna recipe on them because those things have changed so that my kids can make them. If you can brown beef, you can cook for my children. Okay. And it's so that my children can cook for themselves. It has nothing to do with anything else. Um, so anyway, that is one of the things that we're doing and I'm going to get those cards to her and then <clears throat> I was going to look for some what it, mad libs um I know we used to do them back in the 70s and 80s and I want to find some bridal shower ones and then put her friends to the test um with it being Kentucky Derby themed too I also have to find a Kentucky Derby yeah, but her mom is trying to make it fun, and, and it's just one of those things. I don't know if it is. Bridesmaids nowadays don't understand the responsibilities that come with being a bridesmaid, but maid of honor. Yeah, so anyway, it will be fun. Um, we are going to, uh, take care of stuff and, and get her a good place. Um, I may be putting, storing stuff for them, um, after that bridal shower. 
because I've got the back room, um, and she can pile stuff in there, you know, now that I've got it cleaned out, I just have to get to the bed, so I'm good, <laughs> but we also have this office, and, uh, roommate said that we could store stuff in here for them, um, RJ is on a house hunt, he has gone and looked, <laughs> he's gone to the bank, got pre-approved for some money, he is going to look at some tiny houses, and they just all have been coming up dead bad. He's like, Mom, super bad. Uh, I said, okay, well, just... Then we found a house that... Um, or actually, the banker found a house and gave us a number uh, for a house there in Lenapaw, which would be perfect. It is in town right there, but it's less than a mile from the farm. So, um, yeah, and it's for sale, so... If he doesn't want too much for it, RJ said that might work out just perfect. Um, so, yeah. And, of course, it's always going to be a fixer-upper. But, anyway, so a lot of that is going on. I just worked this weekend on the car and getting stuff. I went through this house and cleaned up all the dog hair. Do you know what that's like? Hitch sheds. There was enough hair to make three dogs in here and it's all hitch it's none none of it's warm and warms the long hair so anyway but just kind of putter and i actually took a nap this weekend something that i normally don't do so anyway i'm just babbling on you guys are up to date on the wedding and if you have any ideas on how to make her bridal shower great um i know i want to do some punch some finger sandwiches um Maybe some little cupcakes, sweet treats, I don't know what you call them, um, type stuff, and then we'll go from there. Uh, maybe some fruit, fruit trays. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that would be bridal showery, you know. And then um, I'm thinking punch. And I don't know what else. Yeah, it's like, that's where I'm stuck. It's like, that's all I got. It is going to be finger food. It's not about coming and having a meal. So there'll be little finger foods. Um, but I think I've got that part covered. We'll do the recipe thing. Um, her mom is providing the place and all of that. And I'm trying to think of what else, you know, if we're going to do Kentucky Derby themed, we're doing hats, is what we said. But we will figure it out as we go. And we will make it a nice bridal shower. And we will definitely, um, I probably will leave it up to her mom to send the invitations out. So, yeah. Anyway, all right. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.